Yo, what is going on guys? My name is Brent and today we're going to talk about how to make your apps capable of logging in using the Google sign in button and to do that we're going to be using Firebase. Now some of you may have seen my YouTube series on Firebase. The reason I'm not continuing that series is the majority of that content has already been deprecated. A new version of Firebase out as a platform has arrived. And so if you guys have watched those tutorials, you're probably going to learn a whole lot more information about the current use of Firebase today. Now the first thing you're going to need is a Firebase account. And if you don't have one, you can go ahead and go to firebase.google.com. Firebase is operated by Google. Um, so go ahead and create an account there. Then we're going to go ahead and go to go to console and we're going to create a new project. In our case it's going to be Firebase uh, YouTube and then go ahead and create the project and it's going to register um, your project with Google. Now before continuing further with the setup on Firebase, we need to go ahead and create our Android Studio project and you guys may already have a project uh, set up and ready, but we're going to start one from scratch. So you're going to go ahead and open Android Studio and start a new Android Studio project. Our application name will be Firebase YouTube and so this will be Firebase, Brunarelli.com is our company domain, we got to keep that in mind. We're going to go ahead and target the API 16 which is a jelly bean and hit next. We'll use a blank activity and hit next and we'll go ahead and keep our main activity uh, as that. This will go ahead and set the files up for our project. So when you first load up Android Studio, you should be presented with a, a project that kind of looks like this. Uh, let's see, main activity here. This is what you'd look like. And then we're going to actually go to project view and go to our app directory. And below that, you should see the build.gradle file. I want you to go ahead and copy this uh, application ID. And we're going to use that in our Firebase uh, console here. You're, you're going to want to click add Firebase to your Android app. And then it actually requires two things, or actually just one. The first is the package name of your application, which we just copied. So we're going to paste that there. The second, in order to sign into Google uh, or using the Google sign in button, you have to include a debug signing certificate SHA-1. Now this is to say you as the developer of your application are signing this application to use with Google uh, Play services. So I'm going to show you how to get that. Now, if you're developing for Android or using Java and stuff like that, you should have a JDK directory and a JRE directory on your computer. Now, what we're looking for is the JRE, and in my case, it's in the C drive, program files, Java folder, see here. So we're going to go ahead and click on that and go to the bin folder. And in this folder is actually a key tool, and that is what is used to get that SHA-1 key. So what I want you to do is go ahead and shift right click and open command window here. And then there is over here, if you go to the Google API for Android, you should see that there's a way to, or an easy way to copy and paste this command I'm about to do under authenticating your client. Um, but we'll go ahead and type it out right now. Okay, you guys are going to want to follow rather closely because this is a rather long command. So here we go. Key tool, uh, export cert uh, list v, and then alias. All of these are precluded by a dash here. Um, Android debug key, key stored. And then we got to give it the default path to where our key store is. When you set up Android Studios, it puts it in this location by default, but maybe you've changed it. So go ahead and make sure. Uh, user profile dot Android slash debug dot key store and hit enter. It'll prompt you for a password and the default password is Android. Just go ahead and hit enter. And what we are looking for is this SHA1 key. Go ahead and copy that. 
So now that we have that key, I already accidentally clicked past it, so I can't go back and show you guys, but you're just gonna paste it right below the app ID in your Android or your Firebase console, where it says the SHA-1 key I showed you previously, and you'll go ahead and click next. Now when you get to this screen, it's going to automatically download a uh, Google services configuration file and so it'll download to your downloads folder or wherever you set up your normal download place and you should see a folder it's just a JSON file here and what we're gonna do is go ahead and drag it into our Android Studios project if I can get it here now we're gonna make sure that this is inside the app directory of our Android Studios project so make sure it's under your project app go ahead and drag it there and click OK and there we go Next, let's go ahead and hit continue here. And you're going to see that it wants us to add a couple dependencies to our Gradle files. The first dependency says it needs to be put in the project level uh, Gradle or build.gradle file. So we're gonna go ahead and copy this here. Go back to our Android Studios. Now, as long as you're up on the project level up here, you should see the build.gradle file down here. Now, it wanted us to, I believe, put it in our dependencies. So we're gonna put paste that there. Um, we don't need to sync just yet because we need to paste one other thing. So let's go back here. And it says, now put this in the app level Gradle file. So we'll copy this line. Now we're gonna go to this Gradle file and at the very bottom here, um, we're going to apply the plugin right there. Now we can go ahead and hit sync now. Now what this plugin does is it allows, um, once Gradle runs, it basically reads. Now this is really what confused me originally, how this all happened. But basically this plugin reads the Google uh, services JSON file and basically creates um, resource strings that we can use in our application. So uh, that is what that plugin does. So there's actually three more things we actually had to add to our dependencies. Um, and that is compile um, com.google.firebase, firebase core, and the version number is 9.4.0. And then we're going to go ahead and copy that line and we are also going to use Firebase auth and then we're going to compile com.google.android.s or gms play services I think there's a dash in there yeah and then that is also 9.0 9.4.0, wow, tongue twister. So then go ahead and sync those. So now we've gone ahead and set up Firebase on the Firebase website and configured it. We've gone ahead and set up and configured Android Studios. And now all we need to do is sit down and actually code our application for our Google Play button. We're gonna go ahead and do that in the next video. So I appreciate everybody watching and I'll catch you guys next time.